Ow, my fucking head. That was not that was not scripted at all, by the way. Like most of my videos. Um, anyways. Hey guys, me Ernie here back with a brand new video and a brand new episode of album slash EP reaction slash review. And the last time we did um Sao's um summit album, which was really fucking good in my first experience with like um with like sludge metal and shit. Really fucking amazing. Yeah, no, it was a really quite an experience. Um and I've never heard that kind of like metal before. I've never heard like I, I had heard um um style before, but like um I, I heard the Nirvana covers album I knew I had to check out more. So yeah, that video mm, really good. Um check it out. Anyways, this time we're gonna be doing um Gojira's Le Le L L Le Le Font Sa Sa Savage or something like that. Anyways, let's get into it. First song is called Explosia. Got such a fucking growl to it. By the way, that was, um, Exposia, and, um, hell of an intro to the album, really just set the tone for the, probably, masterpiece we're about to hear. I love the two-minute instrumental break at the end. Didn't really pay attention to the lyrics, but the fucking bass had such a... A nice growl to it, and it just you can hear it really well. I love when bass is mixed in really well with the rest of the production, and of course I love uh, Joe Duplantier's vocals on the album, uh, on the song. Just I love his screaming. It almost sounds like he's singing at some points, which is which is uh, called hybrid screaming. By the way, that's that's what that method of screaming is. And yeah, no, um, just 10 out of 10 song. Next song is called Lay in Font Sauvage. Oh, this fucking song so much. Yeah. 
fucking breakdown. one of my favorite Gojira songs and um, I love everything about this song I love the breakdown I love the fucking um, oh man what, what else can I say god it's just everything in this song is just absolute perfection it's just oh, man. it's so goddamn good um Joe just sounds a lot more passionate here, like, just, like, this song is about anger, so there's definitely a lot more passion in this song, for sure, than I think other Gojira songs, but I, I, I'm not saying that he doesn't give it all 100%, a lot. I'm not saying that he doesn't give it 100% every time, but this just feels different for me, this song is special to me, for sure, god, I love it so fucking much, god. And once again, the bass and the the guitar riffs and the, the the all the guitar scrapes and everything, just in the double kick and the breakdown, fucking fantastic. Twelve out of ten song. Next song is called the Axe. Hell yeah, here we go, Mario. Fucking go. I love Mario's beat on the song. There's a great double kick pass from the song too. Okay, song song bangs, song absolutely bangs, but, but, starting to feel a little bit more repetitive, like, a lot of these songs, yes, they are very different, but also they're kind of ending the same way, with like, vocals stopping at some point, and more instrumentals, and that's starting to feel a little repetitive, it's like a pattern, um, that to me um, is a little bit. How would I put it without sounding like a dick? Well, it's just a little. Well, like I said before, it feels kind of repetitive. Um, so I'm starting to not love it. But we're early. We're very early still. So, of course, I will wait. But. But 8.5 out of 10. Really good song. Next song is a uh, liquid fire. Okay. I 
love that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I shaked it up. I I I, I admit I judged it a little bit too early. The other song is still like a nine out of ten. It's pretty good. But um, that was um, that was Liquid Fire. Yeah. Fucking Pog. God, that was really good. Mario's drumming is really fucking unexplainable. I love it. I love the uh, clean over 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 distorted harmonies over the clean over harsh harmonies. Yes, that's was lovely. That was really fucking amazing. And yeah, once again, I fucking love the guitar and the bass and just wow. Nine point three out of ten. Next song is the Wild Healer. <laughs> But, okay, it's instrumental. Nice things going on. That was okay. Um, it was pretty cool, but um, not my favorite thing in the world. But it's pretty cool. Seven out of ten, whatever. Nice instrumental, nice synth. Next song is planned. Uh, ob obsolescence. <laughs> Fucking angry. Ooh, oh my god! There's like absolutely no cleans in his in his screams. He's he's going like full distortion, like full full on harsh vocals, like as harsh as he can go. I think. Oh, I'm looking for burning the red. That was planned obsolescence. That was really good. That was a beautiful ending too. Guys, the piano. Mm-hmm. I approve AF. That was yes. Yeah, and no, all I all I can remember was the ending. This because that just took me off guard. I like the pause too as well. Um, beautiful notes, they sound so quiet, like, maybe, I don't know, but, um, 10 out of 10, next song is Mouth of Kava. Nice riff. Using this beat for the song?
was hard. God, that was fucking amazing. Mouth of Kava. I loved um, Mario's drumming on the song and the boom, man, I love the ending instrumental as well. God, it's just, you know, it's really good. It's really good. Just was, yeah, had a lot of really good. Once again, Joe's fucking screaming. Um, yeah, ten out of ten. Next song is "The Gift of Guilt." Okay, I like the intro already. Upscaling, nice, and the... I don't know what this is called, but I like it. Like, but this kind of guitar technique that they're... That the guitarist is using. Ooh, that's nice. Beautiful. Oh my god. Bass is doing something different. Guitarists are going. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me listen more. Sounds something like this. Or maybe. Yeah, something like that for sure. Or maybe, or maybe. Something like that, sounds like. Oh, I like that. Fuck yes. Okay. Oh my god. I didn't know his voice could actually go that high and he could do that fucking amazing shriek. Wow. Just. That was crazy. He went like really fucking high at the end. Like, fucking speechless. Wow. Nah, man. 12 out of 10. That was amazing. I'm literally fucking speechless. Next song is Pain is a Master. I'm fucking over the title already. Okay. This is gonna be like a slower song? said I can't hear him. Interesting. Fucking interesting. And I was wrong. That was not a slower song at all. Interesting. Um, Pain is Master. That was pretty.
pretty fucking interesting. What the fuck is going on? Alright. Okay. Some interesting shit happening. Is this one lyrics? The instrumental was pog as always. Kind of loud, honestly. That don't matter, though. That don't matter. That was good, though. What the? And what the fuck is going on here? Hmm. Hmm. 11 out of 10. All right, let's just move on. Next song is called Born in Winter. This is a great song, by the way. God, I love that. The bass seems to have like, more of a presence here. This is a nice, slower song. Definitely one of my favorite Gozira songs of all time. Right, maybe right under the art of dying. God. I could cry. Born in Winter, fantastic song. I love how it starts off slow, and I love Mario's drum beat. Like, he, he keeps a nice shuffle going. Keeps a really nice shuffle going, and this might be one of their least heaviest songs that I've heard at least, and I love it. They're great at doing not as heavy stuff as well as heavy stuff. And just like, I love this song so much. I love Joe's deep baritone voice on this fucking song. Just really beautiful. Could probably, could make me cry, honestly, if I listened to this song for long enough. God, that was fucking amazing. Absolutely. Um, you know, it's a 12 out of 10. Last song is The Fall. Synthesizer. Not really me though. Definitely an unexpected ending, but um, also kind of kind of could have seen it coming. Honestly, I um really loved uh, Mario's really deep gutturals on the song. 
he got so he got some he had some really deep growls that he was doing and um I mean Joe's Joe said some really deep growls he was doing that come with the song. I love the harmonic section with the singing and the, the drums. God, everything about the song was just really amazing. Couldn't have ended on a better song, honestly. Eleven out of ten. It's pretty really, really good. Yeah, um, I don't know. That was really good though. That was a really good album. That was a really good album. Um, it felt like this felt more experimental, and there were more clean songs on this album than um the Way of All Flesh, which is the only other Greek Gojira album I've heard, and I am in several other Gojira songs. Yeah, no. Once again, Joe's um Joe's classic um distorted plus. Distorted singing voice just really um complements the song so well. And Mario's drumming he got a really nice style. And the guitar and, and the have in the really big bass tone on the song like it had it was just fucking insane. Overall, um I think nine point seven out of ten. Really, really great. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you for the most part of staying alive. I'll see you in the next one. Next time we're going to be doing David Bowie's Earthling album. See you then. Peace out.